things I make will be around forever. The things that I have, you know, in my studio right now or that have gone out into the world away from me will always be there. And even though I won't always be here, or maybe my thoughts won't always be here, the, the objects I make still will exist. My favorite part of making ceramics is throwing the pots on the wheel, making the actual objects. There's something about the sound of the wheel and the feeling of the clay and just how you can use, you know, like simple controlled hand motions to make objects. It's just this magical experience of pulling the walls up. That's kind of the beginning of everything. You know, once you do that, then you have like this whole range of opportunities and choices you have to make. Without the wheel and without using that tool first, there's really nothing else. The glazing process is where I feel my work is different from other ceramic artists. For me, layering is very important, not only for uh, like the tactile and visual qualities of the surface, but just for like the narrative that can happen and the story that can happen amongst the layers. I don't see a difference between art and craft. Like it's all basically the same. But I do think there is something wonderful in having a handmade object that you use every morning, that you like welcome into your life. That's what ceramics holds that other things do not hold. You know, you can have these objects that are beautiful and they make your life better, but they also make you better through helping to nourish you and helping to comfort you. Mm -hmm.